I'm here with Noah Diamond, and Noah is uh, one of the many, but also brilliant experts on the Marx Brothers, and he's going to talk about his upcoming Marx Brothers weekend, coming up soon. Yes. Hi, Jim. Uh, the, the Marx Fest committee, responsible for the 2014 Marx Fest, uh, is putting together a little weekend on Governor's Island, which will be uh, September 9th and 10th, 2017. Uh, Marx Brothers Weekend will be a nice, relaxed uh, couple of days in a beautiful, historic house on Governor's Island. Um, it's uh, the Empire State Center for the book is having all these pop-up weekends there out on Governor's Island uh, for various New York literary and cultural figures. Uh, there's been a Walt Whitman weekend and a Kurt Vonnegut weekend and so on. And September 9th and 10th will be Marx Brothers Weekend. <laughs> Uh, the Marx Fest committee and members of the cast of last year's production of I'll Say She Is and other friends and guests uh, will welcome you to all these beautiful free events. Very casual and relaxed in a beautiful place in New York Harbor. Uh, the ferry to Governor's Island will cost you a buck or two, but the events are free. Um, and there'll be a great deal going on. There'll be a walkthrough exhibit in the house where you can uh, enjoy visuals and information related to the Marx Brothers' career. Uh, there will be some programming, too, a lot of which uh, has yet to be announced, but a couple of things I can tease are a couple of talks and discussions with notables like Trav S.D. and Kevin Fitzpatrick. And we're also going to be taking uh, what I'm calling a deep dive into Cracked Ice. Cracked Ice, the diehards will know, was the rough draft screenplay of Duck Soup before Duck Soup became the film that we know. And Cracked Ice is much uh, sharper and politically edgier than the finished Duck Soup, uh, to give an indication of just how much edgier it is. Groucho's character um, is uh, the president of an ammunition company. Um, so it really gets uh, much more into the comedy of war profiteering. Uh, so we're going to read portions of the screenplay of Cracked Ice and give a taste of what it would have been like and also have some discussion of its genesis. Uh, that's just one of many uh, lovely uh, activities and events that we're going to be having out there. Um, so please join us, Marx Brothers Weekend. And for information, you can go to the Marx Fest page on Facebook or the Marx Fest page on Twitter or my website, noahdiamond.com. Marx Brothers Weekend, Governor's Island, September 9th and 10th, to recap. And will there be cast members from the show? Yeah, uh, those of you who, who uh, maybe saw or knew about our production of I'll Say She Is, the Lost Marx Brothers musical, which was last seen uh, in the summer of 2016 off-Broadway at the Connolly Theater, uh, will be on hand to participate in the Cracked Ice reading, um, as will members of the Marx Fest Committee. And it's, um, I, I, we, we want to emphasize, those of you who are around during uh, Marx Fest in 2014, uh, this is not that. That was a month-long citywide festival with lots of high-profile events in many locations. This is more of an end-of-summer, relaxing couple of days, talking Marx Brothers and hanging out with people who love them uh, in a beautiful house, in a beautiful place. Uh, we are still uh, uh, regularly kicking around the notion of another full-scale Marx Fest. Um, so if you uh, have pockets full of money that you don't need for anything else and would like to help us do another Marx Fest, uh, that's, that's all it takes. Can you give us uh, an idea of what your um, thoughts are on the popularity, the popularity of the Marx Brothers? Wow, yeah, it, it, is, it is amazing how the popularity of the Marx Brothers seems to keep renewing itself. And it also peaks at certain times throughout history. Um, as, as we all know, during the 60s and 70s, there was a period often referred to as the Marx Brothers Renaissance, generally attributed to the idea that the revolutionary spirit of the brothers appealed a lot to the campus revolutionaries of the Vietnam era. And... It may be for similar reasons that um, sort of anti-authoritarian uh, tone of Marx Brothers comedy resonates a lot these days, but it's been going on for a while, and um, certainly in the last, let's say, five years, it does seem like the number of uh, realized and also anticipated books and films and studies and uh, theatrical shows about the Marx Brothers 
uh, has been quite heavy. There have been numerous books in the last few years, um, including not least of all, nor most of all, but including mine, uh, Give Me a Thrill, uh, the story of I'll Say She Is, um, Robert Bader's landmark book, uh, which came out last year. Um, and so, yes, I do think interest in the Marx Brothers is peaking. Uh, at least I hope it is. Okay. There's also, uh, in September, a couple of weeks after the Governor's Island events, uh, I'll be going to Fredonia, New York. Uh, this is another thing uh, uh, the fans are very aware of, that there is a town in upstate New York called Fredonia, which is also the name of the uh, mythical uh, Ruritarian kingdom in, uh, in Duck Soup. And when Duck Soup first came out in 1933, there was some well-publicized tension between Groucho and uh, the mayor of Fredonia. They had a little argument, probably largely for publicity purposes on both counts, about whether the movie would hurt the town's reputation or the town would hurt the movie's reputation. Uh, so every year on the SUNY campus in Fredonia, uh, they have a beautiful festival called Fredonia Marxonia. And uh, this year I'm headlining Fredonia Marxonia, much to my delight. I'll be doing my illustrated lecture, The Marx Brothers on Broadway. That is uh, September 28th at the Fredonia 1891 Opera House. Uh, these are also free events, and you can, you can find details on Facebook or on my website. And, you know, this beautiful opera house they have in Fredonia uh, it was built in 1891, but it's spent a lot of the 20th century as a movie palace called the Winter Garden. And in January of 1930, at that theater, uh, the Coconuts was screened during its first theatrical release. Um, so the night after my lecture at the Opera House uh, on September 29th, we're going to screen Coconuts there uh, in the, its new and beautiful remastered version. So, um, so it'll be nice. My lecture kind of takes us to the end of the Broadway years, right up to the beginning of the Marx Brothers on film. And then the very next night, we'll uh, watch Coconuts in the very same location where... Fredonians saw the Marx Brothers on film for the first time. Great. Thank you, Noah. Thank you, Jim. Thank you.